the logical operators in MySQL allow us to combine more than one expression to form a larger expression. And these larger combined expressions still produce the Boolean values that we've been looking at with the comparison operators. The difference is that whereas before we could only compare one simple expression, we can now put two or more together to form much more complex statements. For instance, we could use the OR operator to put together two expressions, one true and one false, and we'd get a true Boolean response from that. What the OR operator does is it returns true if either of the expressions that are being evaluated on either side of the OR operator is true. So because 3 is equal to 3, even though 3 is not equal to 4, and so the right-hand side is false, the entire expression evaluates true. If we use two true expressions, it would evaluate true as well. However, if we use two false expressions, then the entire more complex expression evaluates false or zero. We can write the OR operator in more than one way. We can spell it out with the letters OR, or we can use the two vertical lines that I'm showing here, and these are located on the backslash key, which on my keyboard is just above the enter key. It may be in a completely different place on your keyboard, depending on what part of the world you're from, or rather what part of the world your keyboard is from. I believe mine is a standard American keyboard. This symbol, two vertical slashes, is exactly equivalent to the OR logical operator spelt out in letters. And in fact, we refer to both of these as the same thing. Both of these are the OR operator. They are functionally identical. There's another operator, another logical operator that we should be aware of, and it works in quite a similar way. We put one expression here, then the logical operator, and then another expression after it. This is the AND logical operator. And this works differently because it requires both expressions to be true in order to generate Boolean true from the larger combined expression. So in this case, this statement evaluates to false. However, if we put two true statements, one either side of the AND operator, then we get a true Boolean response. Again, there's more than one way of expressing this particular operator, and which one you use is your own personal preference. If you come from a programming background, you may prefer to use this symbol. This is two of the AND signs, which on my keyboard are found above the 7 key. If you come from a non-programming background, you might be more familiar with the English word AND, but they do exactly the same thing. As we can see, it's possible to string together more complex expressions. We could combine here arithmetic operators with comparison and logical operators to form quite a complex little statement here. If it's true that 3 and 3 are 6, and it's also true that 4 times 3 is 12, then return a true response, which it does. So as we can see, we can make our statements and our expressions as complex or as simple as we require for our specific needs. So those are the AND and OR operators. There's also a NOT operator, and that can be spelled out as NOT. And what it does is it reverses the Boolean value of the expression which it immediately proceeds. And we should put brackets around the expression to make sure that MySQL knows 
that what we are saying is should be reversed is not the value returned by the number 3, but the expression that immediately follows it. So although 3 is equal to 3, because we've used a not, the Boolean value true that is returned by the expression 3 equals 3 is reversed. And so we get a false value. If, however, we wanted to check 3 equals 4, that would return a false value on its own, but because we've used the NOT operator, we get a true response. So effectively, whatever we give to the NOT, it'll change around and give the exact opposite, a very contrary little operator. We can express this, again, in more than one way. We can spell it out, N-O-T, or we can use an exclamation mark, also known as a bang and that's found just above the one key on your keyboard. It does exactly the same thing. Let's have a look at a simple example of the way these operators can work. If we have a look at the name column from food recipes, which is the recipes table in the food database, and we can specify a string of different expressions. And we're going to put them inside brackets, or some of them inside brackets. And we're going to ask that, for instance, it includes the word VEG, veg, somewhere in the name column. Or, we're using the logical operator or here, name includes, by using the like operator, carrot, or name like cabbage. And here I'm presuming that we're trying to find a recipe that will get rid of the things that are left at the bottom of the fridge. Then we're going to close the brackets, and we're going to use and not. Now in English we would say but not, but in SQL, we're going to use the word AND because it fulfills the same function. Name like coconut. So what we're essentially asking here is all the recipes that include either the letters VEG for veg, or include the word carrot, or include the word cabbage, but they don't include coconut in the name anyway if the coconut was sneaked in within the ingredients, and this wouldn't catch all the recipes with coconut, but at least we're cutting down on the kind of recipes that we're going to get back by using the name as a criteria. As we can see, it returns five different recipes, one of which contain coconut. So here's an example of the use of logical operators to express something quite complex in a simplified manner. There is another way we could have expressed that particular example, and that is use regular expressions, and we could have achieved the same thing quite a bit more concisely. We're going to look at that in another movie in this chapter.